Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you do play this style and you play in tournaments, they have prizes. Prizes. So this exercise is really great practice. I call it Siamese force. I have strips for each category on the card. So we're going to pick six and we're going to force two hands at one time and make it work. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. So I'm going to just mix up all these strips here. These are the categories and we'll pick six. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what the prizes would be. Singles and pairs. One, three, five, seven, nine. Two, four, six, eight. Winds and dragons. Addition. Consecutive run. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to say I'm the dealer. We're going to take 28 random tiles. All right, here we go. Oh, somebody just asked me, how do I get the tiles up in one fell swoop? So what you have to do is you need to have them in a nice tight line. See how nice and tight they are pressed together and they're in a straight line. So what you do is first you have to get them up from the table. So you just pinch the two on the end with your fingers. So you just flip them up by pressing them inward. So once they're up, then you use your thumb pads and your four fingers from the back. So the tiles are going to be pressed here and here. And you do it with the four tiles on each side, pressing inward. Okay, so you do it like this. See how I'm holding those tiles with my thumb pad? So you're going to do that from both sides. So really it's those four tiles pressing inward. That force gets them up there like that. So you pinch and, and tip, then you pinch and lift like that. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. Oh my gosh, we have a Kong of fives. Too bad we don't have a Quint on there. I would love to play a Quint. And we have here a Pung of sixes too. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? All right, singles and pairs, one, three, five, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight, winds and dragons. Okay, so I don't think winds and dragons is going to work on this one. Then we have addition. We don't have any one, three. We do have a three and a one, but I don't think that's enough. If I have a one, three together, I'll do an addition. And then of course we have consecutive run. I think we should play the consecutive run to leverage these fives. Right here. This hand is set. Two flowers, punk, uh, Kong of four bam, Kong of five crack, Kong of six dot, consecutive run. That hand is ready to mahjong. 
that's almost a hand from heaven. If somebody throws a four bam to get it started, that's pretty good. Because we could even use this, really, or a six dot. Either one would make that a win because we could use the jokers either way. Too bad we didn't have a six dot or a six bam in there. But anyway, okay, so yeah, I think um, this hand is ready to win on either a six dot or a four bam. So consecutive run, done deal. Now we need to make this work. I wonder if we can leverage the sixes and the dragons. I don't think so. So sixes, nope, dragons. I think these are going to have to be joker bait. Okay, singles and pairs. Let's see what we can do. I don't think so. Let's just put these in order. This is what we have to work with right here. Singles and pairs. One, five, seven, eight, two, three, six, nine. Okay, that doesn't work. Two, four, six, eight. I think maybe a two, four, six, eight hand is going to be the, the ticket here. Okay, and th this decision, two, four, six, eight on top, and then four, five, six on bottom, eight discards. That's, that's a good outcome right there. The challenge is we would have to really make this work because the fours are down here. We can't use all those tiles really. We could do two, four. Maybe we could use this here and not make that ready to win and use this up here for a potential two, four, six, eight or uh, two, four, four, six, eight. Maybe use that up there and still eight discards. That's pretty good. I'd say th this is a really strong potential win for consecutive run for sure. And then two, four, six, eight. This one has work to do, but this one, that's set or ready. Set or ready. If we use that, we just need a four bam or a six dot. If you would do something different here, let me know. All right. In the comment section, write in the comment section if you would play something different. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, here we go. All right, now, nice and tight. Pinch, lift, grab, press in, lift, rack. Okay, pinch and tip. They have to be straight, like this might bust up because it's not perfectly straight. So if you want to do it, you got to make sure they're nice and straight because if, they if they're not straight, they'll buckle and then you'll have a big mess. Trust me, I've made plenty of messes doing that. Okay, let's see what happens here. We need singles and pairs, odds, addition, and wins and dragons. Look at, we've got wins this time. We've got news. There's news. Let's see if we have anything to go with it, though. You got to have the tiles to go with it. Oh, look, we've got two, four, six, eight. Look at how strong that two, four, six, eight is this time. Maybe we, uh, <laughs> we should have waited. Look at that. Two, four, six, eight. Oh my goodness. All right. And even consecutive in there. Oh boy. All right. We'll make it work. Okay. So we need to do addition. Let's see if we have, we don't have any ones. No ones. No ones. 
we don't have any 8.5. Well, we have 8.5 here, but if we, you really need to leverage multiples when you do that. If we did 9.4, we don't have a one crack, three crack, so I don't think addition is going to work. What about uh, odds? Look at all these evens. Boy, this is going to be rough, rough. Okay, what about singles and pairs? Okay, I think we're going to have to make a wind hand work and a singles and pairs hand. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we could play consecutive run pair hand. There's a couple pairs in there. All right, three, four, we need a five, bam, six, seven, eight, nine. Singles and pairs, consecutive hand. Um, you know what? Maybe the two, four, six, eight pair hand would be better. Two, four, six, eight, six, eight. Here's a Here's a four, six, eight. That's even a little better. Oh my gosh. Two. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. That's way better than the other one for sure. Okay. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. Nice. And then we could play winds and dragons. Maybe. Let's see. Three, four. Kind of a lot of discards. We could play east and west, or actually north and south with nines. North and south with nines, or north and south with threes, or east and west with sixes. Okay, so this decision, even though there are a lot of options, we have leverage because we're using multiples here, at least one of them anyway. So singles and pairs, we are two tiles away from being ready. We need a flower, a two bam, and an eight bam to make this work. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. This would be the pair hand that is um, the fourth one down under singles and pairs. Then here, North and south with nines, or north and south with threes, or east and west with sixes. Probably north and south with nines or threes would be better. Okay, so we have winds and dragons and singles and pairs. This single pair, I think, is a winner. What do you think? Is this the way you would go? Or do you see something better? Write it in the comment section if you do. All right, now we're going to make 13579 an addition work. Okay, here we go. We're going to make it work. Addition and odds. We're going for a prize. Here we go. Pinch, tip, grab, lift and rack. Pinch, tip. Whoa, that one almost crashed. Grasp, press in and lift and rack. There we go. Okay. Let's see how this fleshes out. We have one flower, one flower, grr. Okay. Okay, so here's some wins that we can't use. All right, now let's put cracks on top. Oh, we got odds. Okay, this might, this might work out here, maybe. 
we definitely have some odds to work with this time here. Okay. One, three, five, seven, nine, addition. We have a couple of ones and threes here. Let's, let's try to work on that first. Here's nine. Oh, look here. There, seven, six, th one, three. And then here we can do something with odds. I don't know if we can use both of those nines though. We can't. We can't use all the nines. I wonder if we can use the nines down here. Nine, let's put this up here. Nine, four, nine, four, one, three, right here. That gives us odds for up here. Let's see if we can make something work with the odds. Those all have to go away. Wow, that's pretty bad. Wow. <laughs> 14 discards. But we're forcing a hand. This is what it looks like if you force a hand. Okay, so we have a mess. I think um, five, seven. Let's see here. Let's see if we can work this out here. Five, seven, seven, nine. Or we could do one, three, five, seven, nine. And then here we could do nine, four, one, three. Wow, that's just as bad. But we do have Joker bait. One, three, five, seven, nine in one suit. The first hand under odds, nine, four, 13. Oh, look, there's more Joker bait. Okay, so that's a little better. I think we've got it, even though this is gonna take a lot of work. Joker bait, lots of it. Discards. We have one, three, five, seven, nine, and addition. Right there. If you would do it differently, let me know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way. Okay. That's a very challenging style, but a lot of fun to play. And if you play in tournaments, this is a great exercise. I challenge you to give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Get your set out. Force yourself to play hands in the categories and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these opportunities to learn different strategies and maybe some insights into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. And if you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you for joining me. I hope to build this community so we can all learn from each other. I have things to learn too. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Style, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.